Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 75, and today we have a real special pay dirt. Um, everybody's been asking for me to do another big expensive bucket of uh, gold pay dirt. So I've done a couple of these in the past and they became really popular and you guys want more of them. The first one that I did was the $1,000 gold pay dirt from Lynch Mining. This one generated about um, 1.5 million views. It never really went viral or anything on social media, but this was a super popular one. This was a really fun video to make, um, although I did get completely burnt on the price. I lost, I think, $500 on that one or something like that. Maybe more, I, I don't remember. You could check it out, I'll leave a link for it up here. So after all the hype on that video, I went ahead and made another video. This one here is the $1,500 bucket of dirt. Now this video here actually did end up going viral a couple times on social media networks like Lad Bible and VT and stuff. I did give those guys permission to use my videos as long as they would promote my video like in a link or something. And then of course, when they edited that video, it became, they totally took it out of context and they made it seem like I bought the dirt in expectation to actually make money on it or something. When, if you watch that video, that's completely not the case. Those videos ended up generating about 30 million views on social network. So for my 100,000 subscriber video, which is just about to happen, it may have already happened when you guys are watching this, I decided to buy another bucket of dirt, this time spend $1,000 more um, over at Felix Pay Dirts. So here at FelixPayDirt.com, not a sponsor. Matter of fact, these guys have no idea I'm even purchasing this. I purchase all of my pay dirts through a third party or a decoy. Um, that way it, it'll prevent any possibility of favoritism from pay dirt vendors um, because they know that these videos get hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of views. So I went to Felix Paydirt and purchased this one here, the $2,400 Motherload Bucket Special. As you can see here, it costs $2,400. Um, it's $100 shipping, so really it cost me $2,500, and that's what you can expect to pay. Now, I actually sent my decoy an extra $100 so he can ship it to me for $100, so I really spent $26, but we won't count that. So I did weigh this product. It weighs 54 pounds. Uh, let's take a look at the description here. Here's the description if you guys want to read it. You can pause it there and read it. But the most important part of this description is right here. Amount of gold recovered is not guaranteed and photos do not depict an exact recovery amount. So to me, this is a huge red flag. Never buy a pay dirt unless there's a guaranteed amount of gold in the description. I've made over 70 videos and I've only made my money back one or two times. These things aren't even really a gamble, they're just guaranteed money loss. However, they are fun. They're an educational tool, how to learn how to pan. If you can't make it out to the river, if you're disabled, you just send out for some, get it in the mail, pan it out in your house, and you're good to go. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna generate ad revenue. I'll make my money back on the video, and you guys won't have to purchase this because you'll know what's in it. You'll see that I'm going to get burnt big time on this, and I'm totally expecting to. It's completely fine. You can leave your hate comments below. Instead, take your $2,500, fly to Australia, stay there for two weeks like I did last year, find two or three grams of gold, and be completely happy with just that. So speaking of comments, that last Nugget Bucket video generated a lot of them. Let's go ahead and answer just a few of them here. I prefer to use the method of directly buying gold with the $1,500. Yeah, totally, definitely do that. Get yourself some bullion coins. Don't do this to invest. They said there's always at least an ounce of gold in the bucket. How do they know? They are ripping people off big time. I bet that people will never profit off these buckets. Yeah, absolutely. I agree 100%. They know exactly how much gold is going into these products. If they didn't, they'd be out of business really quick. So, yeah, I agree with that. All right, one more question here. I'll sell you a bucket full of dirt from my house for half price. Yeah, that that's fine, man. You could totally do that. I'll take you up on that offer. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please hit the thumbs up button uh, if you would like to help this video be promoted through recommended videos for other people that might like this kind of video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. I'm putting out a new video every week at this point. I travel the world and do all kind of gold prospecting and treasure hunting, metal detecting, all that stuff. All right, let's go down to the Panda Station. We'll go through this bucket completely. Please watch it all the way through. It's gonna be a, probably a half hour video, maybe 40 minutes. There's going to be cool stuff all the way through. So let's go down, take a look through it, and see how bad we get burned. All right, here it is, the Motherload Bucket Special from Felix Pater. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice. Okay, so first things first. This thing weighs 50 pounds. It is sealed. C 
seal is still there, so it hasn't been tampered with. Covering up the name of my decoy, you can see it costs $100 to ship it. All right, let's take a look inside. Nice hiss. Almost there. Made in Alaska. There's a few fingerprints on the inside. Well, there it is. Lots of plus quarter inch in there. Even some plus half inch rocks and stuff. Hopefully we'll find some half inch nuggets in there. That'd be nice. These rocks are a little bit rounded. They're possibly from a river. It's hard to say for sure. It's gonna be real dusty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna classify this stuff um, as much as we can. There's 50 pounds of dirt here, 50 plus pounds of dirt. So we're gonna classify it and that'll make it a whole lot easier to work. The first classification is gonna be half inch. So we'll get, we'll run all this dirt through here and we'll be able to pick out all the plus half inch stuff first. Wow, what is this? Let's take a look at that in a second. Okay, it's just a brochure for the company there. Again, they are not a sponsor or anything like that. They give you a little tiny uh, vial here. I hope that's not a bad sign. I hope our gold's gonna fill more than just that. All right, let's check out our plus half inch. All right, let's feed this through and see if we can find any big nuggets. This is where we're gonna find our biggest stuff right here. Whoa. Yeah. Holy cow. All right, we're off to a good start. That thing has got to weigh two or three grams right there, at least. Big round Alaskan nugget. Very cool. I'm actually going to keep this with all the plus quarter inch and we'll pan everything separately. Just looks better on video like that. Oh, it went through. Looks like that actually went through that plus half inch. So we don't have any giant nuggets. All right, here's our biggest rocks. I don't think any of these are gold nuggets covered in dirt. And crushing these down, a lot of people want to know if I crush these down, would I find more gold? Uh, probably not, maybe in the quartz, maybe a very small amount, but to me, this is just tailings. Okay, next size is the quarter inch. This size is gonna be our last chance for any big nuggets. I don't see anything in here. I'm gonna continue doing the whole bucket. And if I find anything, I'll let you know. If that dust has any gold in it, it's too small to worry about. I don't see anything in there. Whoa, there we go. I've got a nugget here. Right there. Look at that, man. By the way, I'm going to be giving all of these nuggets away on my live stream channel, Clutch Guitars TV. So if you guys are interested in getting these, um, go subscribe to my live stream channel, Clutch Guitars TV, link in the description. Wow. All right, just need about 20 more of those to pay for the bucket. Oh yeah, I see more gold here. Got three nuggets this time. Can you guys see them? I see two there and another one right there. This one here, this big one's about two and a half grams, I would guess. That's about a grammar, and that's about a gram right there. Don't worry, I'll pan all this stuff out. 
All right, this is the last of the quarter inch. Nothing in that last one. That's okay, we got like, we got a few nice ones. All right, now we have eighth inch. All right, well, I don't see any nuggets off the top, but we're gonna pan through it all, make sure we don't miss anything. I don't see any gold in that one either. Again, no gold. Not looking too good. Starting to get scary now, because any more big nuggets, they'll be in here and we haven't found anything in this size yet. All right, I finally see some gold at the very end of the bucket here. There's a little nugget right there. It's probably a half a gram. There's another one right there. Probably a quarter gram. And there's another one here. I guess all those pieces went to the bottom. It makes sense, gold is heavier. Some nice pieces. There's another one. Right, here we can see him a little better. Here's that nice piece right there. That's actually really nice. It's got character to it. Awesome. Let's see if we can find those others. Yeah, got two pieces here. These little nuggets. There's actually two more hiding on camera. I don't know if you could see them. Or here. right there awesome and the last little bit yeah wow there's a few pieces of gold in here at least three that I saw can you see them one two three and there you go three Out of our plus eighth inch size, we've got eight nuggets there. This one here, is, I'm surprised that got through the quarter inch, but that thing is big, man. And that piece is awesome. That's just a really cool looking piece of gold. It's like Swiss cheese. So I will get nice high resolution video of this towards the end of the show, so make sure you watch all the way through. Digging through the quarter inch one last time here, I found another plus quarter inch nugget right there. So the next size we're gonna use to classify is kitchen strainer size. The previous classifiers you just saw me use, the half inch, the quarter inch, and the eighth inch were all made by Arbor Fabricating. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these for yourself, there's a link down below. There's also a discount code. Uh, make sure you use it and you'll get yourself 10% off of any of these, but you know, they're the best in the world. So I uh, gotta give them a plug on the show here. These guys are also major credit Patreon supporters, $20 a month. Uh, without the help of guys like Arbor Fabricating and everybody else that you see in the credits at the end of each video, um, that's what makes these shows possible. So thanks a lot, guys. Oh yeah, there is some gold in here. There it is. So now we're just gonna start finding a nicer size flakes. I mean, that'd be really nice to find on a river. That's still a big piece. So yeah, these we're just gonna leave in with it and we'll pan all this stuff later.
Okay, so I have a whole bunch to go. Uh, once I get done with this, I'll show you guys what I end up with. All right, there we go. So as I was going through this, I actually saw a bunch of gold, and I can still see some right there. It's hard to see, but it's actually really hard to grab. I was only able to grab like two pieces out of there. We're just gonna put that back in there. We'll pan all this stuff out, and we'll get it all at once. Yeah, man. Just running my hand over it, I see another piece of gold here. It's, it's full of gold. All right, our next classification size is about half the size of the kitchen strainer. We've got gold in this smaller size too. Right there, shiny piece. There, man, there's, it's full of gold. I see shiny flakes of gold all throughout here. This might not be such a bad product after all. Uh, we have one more size to go, and then we're gonna remove the magnetic stuff. Our final classification size is extremely small. This is gonna take a while, but it'll be worth it. Uh, makes everything a lot easier to pan. Yep. Man, there's a lot of gold in there. You can see all the flakes of gold are starting to show up in this classification. A lot of gold. We had the same exact thing happen during the $1,500 bucket. Okay, up here on the table we have all of our different classified sizes in no particular order. Uh, at this point, we're actually going to take the really fine stuff here in these buckets, and we're going to remove all the magnetic stuff. So I have here a neodymium magnet. And this is a silver dollar tube. You can buy both of these things on Amazon. There's links in the description, Amazon affiliate links. And then this is just a nut driver. So I just, you know, made a little tool to remove magnetite. So what we need to do is take a scoop of that. We'll take our magnet and we'll put it in there. Pick up any black sand or anything that's magnetic. The reason we want to do that is because all that magnetic stuff is super heavy and it makes it very difficult uh, during the panning process, but there's not much in here as you can see. Just a little bit. We'll take that and we'll put it in a separate pan. There's not a whole lot in this bucket. Yeah, this stuff is very low on black sand compared to the last bucket that I did. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's going to make it a lot easier to pan this stuff out, but it also makes me kind of suspicious. Why is there not a lot of black sand? You know, if this was real concentrates, it would be full of black sand. Of course, I'm not expecting it to be real concentrates. It's basically a bucket of dirt with some gold added. So I did three pans, and this is the only amount of magnetic stuff that I got. This is the end of the bucket here. I'm really surprised at the small amount of black sand. Yeah, this is a tiny bit. Every company's different, I suppose. It's just gonna make it easier to pan out. So as for the total on magnetic stuff, That's it. For the entire bucket, that's it. Okay, so now we can start the panning process. This is all the plus half inch stuff. I just wanna wet it down, just in case one of these is a gold nugget covered in mud. 
unfortunately, we're not gonna be that lucky. Okay, here's our minus half inch plus quarter inch. We already eyeballed four nuggets out of it. Let's see if we can find any more. I am noticing a lot of round river rocks and little pieces of quartz in here as well. All right, I think we got all the gold out of there. I do want to wet it down just in case there's a dirty nugget in here. Okay, our next size is our minus quarter inch plus eighth inch. These are the ones we eyeballed out of there. Got about eight or nine nuggets. Now this is a lot to look through, so I'm actually just gonna pan it. Makes it a lot quicker and a little bit more fun. All right, so normally I would bring over Krusty Rusty here and we would pan in Krusty, but as you can see, it's just a lasagna pan and it's a little bit too small. So we'll bring over his big brother from AutoZone. Let's add some water and some Jet Dry. It's just a surfactant to break the surface tension of the water. And we'll do one scoop at a time. Let's see if we could find some more gold. There's all that dust. No gold in that one. All right, pan number six. And we got ourselves a nice little nugget. There we go. Out of six pans, that's the only one we got. We have a lot more to go though. Hey, there we go. Right on top, we got a nice little nugget. That piece there is a lot rougher than the others. It didn't roll down a river for quite as long, if at all. All right, this is pan number 10. Just wanted to show you guys the panning process and how simple it really is. You don't want to fill your pan too much, just a little bit. You know, just cover the bottom. You could probably go up to that first riffle there. Add water so that it covers the material. Stratify it like this. Basically just shake it around. Tilt it forward. Wash it five or six times. And repeat the process until all you have left is gold. Now the gold is heavier than everything else. Even lead. So the gold's gonna be at the bottom of that pan and we don't have to worry about it falling out. Once I get to about here, I like to spin it around, see if there's any gold here. And there is none, again. All right, we only found two nuggets so far and we're 10 pans in. All right, this is pan 16 and we got a nice nugget in this one. Right there. So even though I didn't mine for this stuff myself, it's still really exciting. Uh, one thing about buying these pay dirt buckets, yeah, they're very expensive, but I mean, finding something like this in nature is extremely difficult. I mean, let alone those huge ones that we found as well, but that, I mean, that's so cool, man. Ooh, there's a nice nugget. This is pan 23. Another piece of gold. That's a picker pick it up that'll be pan 27 to finish off this classification size this is actually our best chance to find the most gold because it was at the bottom of that other pan and I think I see a piece of gold it's hard to tell maybe it's a yellow rock no it's just a yellow rock right there not gold for that classification we got four decent nuggets All right, our next size to pan out is our minus eighth inch. Oh yeah, man, we got some gold in this one. Couple pieces in there, nice. We got four pieces of gold in this pan. Three pickers and a flake, awesome. Second pan, three more pieces. All right, there's a lot to go, so I'm not gonna film every single one, but I'll show you what I end up with. All right, just a quick update. This is pan number eight. So far, every pan I've been getting about three flakes, just like that. They're about the size of like uncooked oatmeal, I guess. But I've been getting like three every pan so far. So one thing I should mention, honestly guys, it's a lot easier to just run this stuff through like a sluice box or something in a controlled environment. I mean, you don't wanna <laughs> dump a bucket like this into the river because you might lose some, but if you had a controlled environment, you can totally uh, speed this up and just run it through a sluice box. But this is a lot more fun, I think. 
And here we have a couple nuggets. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces here. And those are fat little pickers. Even the small ones make a noise. Okay, so here's what we got out of that classification. Maybe 20, 30 nuggets in there. Little pickers, I would say. Not too bad, um, but definitely less than I expected. Uh, for that amount of money, this is not gonna be good. Unless uh, the next classifications are a lot better, right? Here's our next classification. I did not see a lot of gold in here when I was uh, classifying, but hopefully we get a lot through panning. Yeah, we got some nice gold in there. A bunch of flakes, actually. It's better than I expected. So I'm gonna have to grab this stuff with a snuffer bottle. It's too small to pick up. That's what floating gold looks like right there. I'll add a little bit of jet dry and you'll see it sink right to the bottom. Wow, that is way more than I expected. It's a lot of gold right there. It's one after another, every single pan is like this. It's probably another half a gram right there. I am gonna repan all my tailings just to be 100% sure I don't miss anything. So that's about average for each pan. I'm gonna go ahead and dump out this snuffer bottle and show you guys exactly what we got from this classification in total. All right, this should be good. Yep. A whole bunch of gold. There's probably about two or three grams there. So that's, you know, each gram is worth, right now it's $50, so that is maybe $100, $150 worth of gold right there. All right, and the last classification is this. I mean, this bucket is full to here. So this, of course, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that, so I'll go ahead and pan this out. So because there's so much of this stuff, I'm gonna use my Garrett Super Sluice Gold Pan. These are the standard. If you don't have one of these, uh, you need to get one. Uh, there are links in the description for these. Best gold pan ever, I have three of them. I bring them everywhere I go, whenever I travel. Um, I don't care if I'm going to Australia, Japan, I'll never leave this behind. This pan makes quick work of pretty much anything. I'm gonna get it down to like, like there, and I'll take the rest and put it in a small pan and pan that separately. That's gonna be our smallest size. I don't really see any flour gold, which is like the size of flour. This is all just kind of like flakes there. It's a lot though. All right, let's keep going. All right, well, I got all of that stuff panned down. Uh, everything from the smallest classification is panned down to this heavy stuff right here. As you can see, it's a little bit darker. Uh, that's probably mostly hematite. You guys saw there wasn't a lot of magnetic stuff. Uh, most of the stuff left behind is hematite. I, I did notice garnets, really, really tiny round red garnets and stuff in there. So um, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this water. Uh, I got a big mess going on here. So I'm gonna clean up this water. Um, we'll pan out this last little bit. I'll show you all the gold. And yeah, let's clean up the water first. All right, much better. So now we only have this little bit left. Let's go ahead and pan this down. All of our small gold's gonna be in here. Looks pretty good so far. And even though there's no magnetite, that hematite does make it difficult. So it's still a challenge. All right, I'm gonna grab this with the snuffer bottle. Wow, that is a lot. All right, here we go. This is the smallest size gold. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of fine gold. Right there, you got a nice amount of gold. That is just, <laughs> I mean, that has weight to it. That's probably, that's maybe a quarter ounce of gold right there. We're not gonna weigh these up individually. We're just gonna add them all together. We gotta weigh these nuggets up though. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up as much of that black sand as I can. Then we're gonna dry it out, we'll take it up, we'll take a closer look at all of it, and we'll weigh it up and get a value on it. That is a lot of metal right there. It's just fun to play with. All right, so a lot of people wanna know how I dry this stuff out. I have a heat gun here.
and there you go, dry gold. All right, let's go take a closer look at it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I I did the math and it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, I knew we were gonna get nailed on this one. And we did, uh, worse than we did on the previous video. So I weighed everything up as you saw. I did all the math here on a post-it note and I'll explain to you what we got. So the nuggets and pickers, that's the, you know, pick up a bull sizes of gold. We got 15.770 grams of those. The flakes and fines, that was 15.333 grams, equaling exactly 31.103 grams, or exactly one troy ounce. So you can't tell me that they didn't know what they were doing. Adding gold, of course, they knew exactly how much was going in it. There were five nuggets over one gram, and 15 pickers under one gram. Our biggest nugget was 3.425 grams. That's valued at about $200 with the tacked on premium, about $30 premium on a three gram nugget. Our second biggest nugget was 2.757 grams. That could be resold for about $170 with a you know $20 premium on it. The rest of the nuggets were about you know 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 grams each. They, those could be sold for about 75 each. In total, nugget value with the premium added, we could sell those for about $585. The pickers are worth about $300 combined, there's 5.9 grams of pickers. And the fines and flakes, they could sell for about $782. Now that's the values with the premiums, but here on Gold Calc, we'll give you the actual 24 karat value, uh, 31.103 grams of 24 karat pure gold. Now this stuff, of course, is not pure gold. So natural gold like this is never 24 karat purity. The closest you're gonna get is like, I think New Zealand has like 23 karat. I think Scotland has really pure gold as well. Australia is pretty pure as well. But I've tested Alaskan gold nuggets before and the average is usually about 18 karat. But we're still gonna call it 24 karat purity just because you can resell this stuff at 24 karat purity. If you want the 18 karat purity, I'll put it down below in the description. So here we go, the actual 24 karat gold price, $1,586. So I spent $2,500 and we ended up losing nearly $1,000. Like I said, um, never expect to make money from this kind of thing. It's just for fun, it's just for um, losing money. So I know a lot of people are gonna be like, it's a big waste of money, and I totally agree. But you gotta remember, some people, they can't make it to a river 
that has gold in it or they're disabled and they can't get out of the house. This like mailbox prospecting stuff is available to pretty much anybody. In my opinion, it's much better to take that $2,500, take a two week trip to Australia like I did last year and go find only a gram or two of gold. I'm totally cool with that and I would rather do that than do this. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on your way out. If you want a Clutch Guitar shirt, I'll leave a link down below for that. Thanks to my subscriber, 100,000 subscribers. That is awesome. Thanks so much, guys. I honestly never thought I would even hit like 1,000, and that was just a couple years ago. So thanks so much. Um, don't forget, if you want a, a chance to win these gold nuggets, I'll be giving these away on my live stream channel, Clutch Guitars TV. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, everybody, for watching my video. It's much appreciated. I did notice that 73% of my viewers aren't even subscribers. So if you would like to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.